Hey, what's up guys? I hope you are all doing well and I hope you're all staying safe out there, but I'm back after a bit of a break and I want to thank you guys for the 5k subs that the channel received while I was away. I had a break because I was dealing with work and uni and I was very, very busy, but I'm hoping to come back strong, release a heap of videos for you guys, mostly a lot of Animal Crossing stuff to come out in the next week, two weeks. I'm going to focus down on it. I want to get more of that stuff out for you guys, more of the design stuff, a couple more big ideas that I have in my my head that I want to turn into videos and release in the next week or so. So look forward to that. Now before we get into it, a couple of the things I will mention do have their own videos of their own and I will show that on screen. I'll also put a link down below, the links to all my socials, to the group discord. If you have questions, you can leave a comment down below. No guarantee that it'll get answered. If you want to get noticed, join the discord, ask a question in there. Either someone else will answer it or me or a moderator will pick it up and we'll answer it directly. All right. So so that's always an option. Check the links down below. If I refer you to another video in the video you're watching right now, they will also be linked down below and I should show the thumbnail on screen when I talk about it. So in this video today, we will be covering around 10 tricks, tips, glitches that you guys might not know. And I doubt there'll be any of you that know or have used all 10 of these tricks. If you have, leave a comment down below because that will be insane if you already know all 10 of these. But I am pretty certain that at least most of you will definitely learn something from this video. Now, if something is a little bit complicated and I specify that I have another video about this tip or trick, definitely go watch it. They're usually way more in depth and the entire video will focus on the trick so you won't have any questions, hopefully, by the end of it. But thanks again for tuning in. Let's get straight into it and I'll talk to you in a second. Now I'm gonna quickly teach you guys a simple, simple, easy one to start off. This is a camera pan trick, as you'll see right here. I pan across this area of my island. It looks pretty cool. Can be used for cinematics or to show off areas of your island. Now I have thrown in a little bit of editing here so I can reverse it to make it look like it goes both ways, but you don't need that at all. I've also slowed it down a bit. So if it looks a bit choppy, that is why. But here you'll see it go all the way back and you don't have to use that over an area. You can use that over your entire entire island. Now let me show you how to do it. So first off, you're going to choose the area you want the zoom to be from or the zoom to be to, depends whether you reverse it or not. You simply have to pull out your camera, position it the way you want. So I'm going to leave it up here like this. And then you're going to move your character far, far away to where you want the rest of the zoom to reach. So obviously it's a bit difficult, especially if your island is populated with items and trees. Luckily mine isn't really, but with enough tries, you can get it right. When your character is there, just position them so they're facing the camera remove the HUD, position it how you want. So I'm overlooking this area and I'm going to simply press B when I'm done and it's going to zoom straight towards my character just like that. Now I've recorded it so that's how I get that cool effect and obviously you can slow it down like this so it looks a bit cooler so you can see the island a little bit better or you can reverse it to get that cool effect so it looks like it's zooming from your character to the area. Now, before we get into some of the more trickier and useful tips and tricks, I just want to show off another camera trick that you can use to take some cool images and screenshots of your island or areas around your island. All you need to do is pick up the mailbox. Now, you might know this one. It is a little more popular than the zoom trick I just showed you. And again, this is a lot easier than some of the ones we will see in this video. But all you want to do is take that mailbox, put it down where you like, as you can see on screen here. And then you just interact with it and you'll see for a split Split second, there is nothing on your screen and it gives you that diagonal side angle of the area around you and you can take a cool screenshot. It's pretty cinematic, it's very unique and you can surprise some people with some of these screenshots if you wanna show off areas of your island or you wanna showcase something from a side or diagonal angle, it can give you some interesting results. Now thirdly, I'm gonna show off another exploit or trick that a lot of people surprisingly don't know about. And again, it, like the other two, it isn't really useful. It's kind of just fun and cool to have and cool to know. But if you go into your giant selection of all the emotes that you have, you can press A 
repetitively and spam emotes, which again is something I know a lot of people would really enjoy and a lot of people do like doing. So this is a more well-known tip, but I know there will be some people in here that are glad that they found out about this because they somehow didn't know about it before. So if you didn't know you could do this, well, here you can go definitely make use of that if you're the type of person that will want to spam emotes at people. Maybe you're angry at them. Maybe you want to express your love for them. I don't know, do whatever you want with it. It's not really useful again, but it's something that everyone should know. Now for the fourth trick today is a way more advanced trick, probably one of the most advanced in this game, and a lot of you might already know about this from some of my past videos, but for those of you who do not, this is vital that you know that this exists, but there is in fact still a duplication glitch in this game. Now I'm going to quickly go over how you can perform this duplication glitch, but please, if you are looking to do it and you didn't know about it before this video, I highly recommend checking out this video on screen. It is on my channel, it explains the entire glitch in depth, how to do it, the fastest scenarios, and what to do when there are errors that occur. You need to be careful with this glitch. It is something that works around the autosave feature, which could mess up your game if done incorrectly. So I will go over how to do it roughly right now, but please, if you are looking to do this glitch and you haven't done it before, or you've never heard of it before, please check out my video linked below. So first off, the most important part of this glitch is you do need two people. Now, one person opens their island it doesn't matter whether they're local or online, doesn't matter where in the world they are, and it doesn't matter whether they use a dodo code or not. All they have to do is open their island for the second player. Now the second player fills their inventory with as many items as they want to duplicate. They can have 40 items, they can have six, it can be literally anything in the game that you can drop on the ground, and it can even be trees that you can plant. Now while hack trees have been removed from the game, you can still duplicate fruit trees or money trees for whatever reason. If you wanted to duplicate money the fastest way possible, the best method would be to duplicate these royal crowns that you see on screen. Now this can be done with Nook Mile tickets as well, so keep that in mind if you were into the whole trading business. Now you're going to have to fly to that person's island and as soon as you land and walk out of that airport, you will want to start a timer, maybe on your phone, on your computer, it doesn't matter, you need a stopwatch of some sort. So start a timer and then quickly go and drop all the items on the floor. Now it is important that the other player doesn't do anything while you are there. They can stay AFK if they want, they just literally need to do nothing. And the less they do, the more likelihood of this glitch succeeding. Now once that timer is going and you've dropped all items, maybe 30, maybe 40, maybe five, it doesn't matter how many items you've dropped, you drop them all on the floor and you stand there and wait with your partner. Now when that timer hits about two minutes, 15 seconds, it'll be around there, you will see the auto save icon pop up in the top right corner. Now the tricky part is as soon as that auto save pops up, you need to have already had your finger on the off button on your switch and you need to press it the millisecond you see that auto save. And if you get the timer right when you turn your switch back on it'll disconnect you and when you load back into your island you will still have all your items in the inventory and they will still be dropped on the other person's island. Now if you need a better in-depth explanation and video please check out the video I have linked down below I don't want to ramble on about it because I need to get on to the other exploits. Keep in mind when I say turn off your switch, I for sure mean don't hold the off button. This is extremely important. If you hold and turn off your switch, it can damage your save data permanently. So you want to put the switch to sleep. I can't stress enough how important this is. Again, do not do this glitch without watching my other video because it does point out the risks. Hey you, yes you, Animal Crossing player and viewer. Do you use sites like Nookazon to trade your items with other players? Well, you know what lurks on these sites? Scammers. Have you ever encountered a scammer? Maybe you've encountered a situation just like this. Hey! Hey, give it back! Well, let me explain. So you're at someone's island or they're at yours and you've organized to trade. You drop your items first, they run and pick it up, and then they beeline for that exit so they can get out before you notice. Now, if this occurs on someone else's island, a common occurrence is they will just boot you out. You'll arrive back at your island without your stuff and without the things that they promised you. Now, how can you fix this? Just watch. 
So this is tip number five, how you can avoid scammers. Now on screen, you're going to see me making a transaction where I get scammed. So I drop my things on the ground and the trader picks it up and runs. You know what I do? I immediately close down the software. What this will do is force the session to close and both players will revert back to their own island with the stuff that they had before they joined each other. So this is a super important tip. Make sure you use this if you're ever in this scenario and make sure you prepare for these types of scenarios because it doesn't matter how much you trust someone online, you don't know them, they can't always be trusted. Now I do want to note that this can be used if someone comes to your island and takes something or shakes one of your trees. Maybe you had a money tree or a fruit tree or whatever that you didn't want shaken or flowers you didn't want picked, you can use this same strategy. Now on to tip number six. Now these two next tips and tricks both go together very well as they both involve the various NPCs that can visit your island throughout the weeks. This includes people such as Red, Gulliver, and Celeste. Now firstly for tip number six, did you know that once you buy your item from Red or collect your reward from Celeste or Gulliver, you can collect another reward in that same day using another character on your island. So if you have multiple accounts, you can go and speak to that NPC on that second or third or fourth character and they will let you get another reward in the same day. So if you're someone that doesn't like to do these glitches and doesn't like to time travel, this is a perfect trick for you. Now tip number seven is just about the same thing but a lot more effective but of course the downside is that it does involve time traveling so a lot of people watching this aren't going to be too keen but I will explain it anyway. I do have two separate videos on this topic and this exploit one for Red and one for Gulliver but you don't need to go watch them as it's pretty simple to explain which I'll do right now. So how it works is you choose your NPC and once you've found them on your island either by time traveling one day at a time until they arrive or just waiting real life days you talk to them and complete their task until they give you their reward once you've completed the task you time travel one day in the future quit and save your game and load back in on that next day for characters such as Red and Gulliver, you will receive their reward in the mail. You're welcome to take out that reward and check that it is there. It will be, and all you have to do now is time travel a day backwards, back to the day when they were on the island, and then when you save, quit, and reload, they will still be there on the island, and you will be able to repeat over and over and over and receive a different reward. Characters such as Red will have a fresh new inventory and you can definitely get different rewards from the other NPCs. So this is an extremely useful exploit and you can get all of Gulliver's items or all of Red's paintings in literally a couple hours. Now moving on to another simple one that a lot of you will already know, but I'm surprised at the amount of people that do not know this already. But when you eat fruit and you gain that little hunger bar in the corner that shows you how many times you will have like a super strength move when you hit a tree or break a rock. Now if you eat too many fruit than you intended, you will have an extra power up or an extra hit that you may not want and you may accidentally break a rock or chop down a tree that you don't intend to. Now you don't have to travel to some random island and use them all up or use them on a tree that you are planting. Instead, you can just sit on top of a toilet and the bar will go down as if your character is, well, doing their business. This is an insanely useful, but it is an interesting tip and it is quite entertaining. Maybe this will come in handy, who knows? Now, before we get on to number 10, which is probably my favorite trick in this entire list, I just want to cover something for tip number nine, which goes over how people kick out their villages. Now, tip number nine covers a method in which people use to try and remove villages from their island. Now, hitting a villager on the head with your net does not actually increase the chances of them wanting to move out. Yes, it does annoy them, and yes, it can lower your friendship level, but that does not increase the chances of them getting a bubble above their head as that is entirely random. Lowering a friendship level of a villager decreases the chances of you receiving a gift from them when they have the bubble above their head. It does not increase the chances of them receiving that bubble. So stop wasting your time barricading your hated villager inside their house or chasing them around smacking them with your net. You are just wasting your time and instead you could be time traveling forward and forward and forward waiting until a villager wants to move out. If you don't like time traveling and you're trying to kick out villagers, 
villages, unfortunately you're just going to have to wait real life days and hope that the one you want to move out decides to agree with you. Now on to tip number 10. Now just before we get into it, I want to clarify with some people, if you are watching this a little while after this video has been released, and you're wondering if anything in this video has been changed, fixed, or patched, don't leave a comment down below asking, because you might not get a response, especially if you're watching this video a lot later after it's been posted. Instead, check the pinned comment down below. If any of this stuff has been fixed or changed, I will update the comment section down below and say, hey look, tip number 9 or 10 or whatever has been patched. So you will know from checking the comments down below. If there isn't a pinned message talking about that, then all of it still works. Alright, so no need to ask, try it out yourself. I guarantee it will all work as of the day of this being posted. Now let's get into tip number 10. So tip number 10 is a sneaky way you can get an unlimited supply of Nook Miles. Not Nook Miles tickets, but Nook Miles. So you can use these on whatever the hell you want. You can get the exclusive stuff that you are only able to get by paying Nook Miles. So this is an awesome exploit. It's fairly quick, fairly easy. The only downside is that it does, of course, involve time travel. Now to perform this exploit, all you have to do is change the date to the 1st of January. It doesn't matter what year this is, but the higher the year the better so you can fast forward 200 years in the future whatever the max is it might not be that high i'm not quite sure but the higher you go the better now don't worry about stuff happening i get a lot of comments asking me if people will move out if things will change time traveling has no negative repercussions on your island no one can move out without your permission so no no villagers will leave your island if you time travel the only thing that can happen is if you time travel backwards your turnips can spoil so once you've time traveled super far into the future and you've loaded into your game on the 1st of January, you will be greeted by Isabel and then you will be free to run around your island. When you're free to do so, run into the resident services and access the ATM. Once you access your bank, you will be greeted with a Happy New Year's message and you will receive a bunch of Nook Miles. Now the trick here is you can repeat this process as soon as you've claimed these Nook Miles by rewinding your time back one year exactly. Now the reason we're going backwards in time instead of forwards is because when you go backwards for whatever reason, the game thinks you've already had that day before and you're not actually on a new day so Isabel doesn't greet you. What this means is you can load into the game insanely fast and you don't have to skip through Isabelle's conference at the start of every day. So claiming your Nook Miles and rewinding a year at a time over and over and over again, you can gain thousands and thousands and thousands of Nook Miles and this isn't even a glitch, it's just an exploit. Again, this can have no negative repercussions on your island, so you can just farm these Nook Miles as long as you want while you watch Netflix, watch YouTube, do whatever you like, it's that easy. And there you go, they are 10 tips and tricks that currently still work in Animal Crossing. If you knew a bunch of these, please let me know down below which ones you knew, I'm interested to find out, but I will be very surprised if any of you knew all 10 of these tricks. If you did, let me know, I'm still very, very interested. I hope you all did learn something from this. If you did, Again, let me know down below. I will really appreciate the support. I really appreciate the feedback. I'm going to get into this upload schedule, hopefully, and you can look forward to that in the future. If you want more videos like this, or you like videos on the glitches, on uh, design, I like to design parts of my island. I want to quickly get that uh, done. I want to get onto that because I'm not doing a good job of staying on that, and I know a lot of people are waiting for the next upload. But yeah, if you're into that stuff, definitely hit subscribe, like the video if you liked the video, if you didn't, or you knew all these, or you thought it was bad, dislike it, let me know why, I'm hoping to improve in the future. But other than that, have a good day, please stay safe out there in these times, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.